Well, well, we really like this thing, S600. Needs engine mounts. I mean, engine mounts are for sure. This is the vibration. Engine mounts are bad. It's a common problem. This is. That should be the drive. Drive. No. The parking brake. To make sure it's released. Yeah. Legendary car, slow down, slow down. Rear suspension gone. Yeah. Well, guys, we're debating, we're debating. Ooh, S600, baby! S600. So we thought that there was a coolant leak is all of a sudden it started dripping Yeah Okay So somebody was refilling the coolant they spilled a bunch and it was it was staying on that splash shield right there and when we started driving and then it just started like going all over the place and then it started leaking out of from the splash shield but uh, i looked at this low radio hose and it's, it's just a little bit wet but it's not really dripping like crazy nothing you know what i mean so and the temperature is all good so we should be all right we're just gonna grab coolant just in case we have all the fluids needed we got her guys s600 v12 getting ready to take her back to chicago with us it's gonna be a long journey it's actually the coolant leak is not it's just something from the spillage because somebody was uh, filling up the coolant i guess but it's not really leaking so that's awesome but here's the baby lots of work needed for this car but my friend my friend's dream finally came true he's always wanted one of these amazing tanks v12 krasavchik We gotta feed the beast right here. Sheesh.
Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit up right now. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Just shut it off. Da, da, da. <laughs> you know why? Because uh, this, at least this wheel is bent. I saw this wheel is bent slightly. Because when I was looking for that coolant leak, it was it was bent. Either way, these wheels are trash. You're just gonna sell them and put some better, nicer wheels on it. Look at the amount of trash in front of that condenser everywhere. It's pretty bad. Uh, this could be a big reason why it's overheating right there. All right, we keep on rolling, baby. Keep on rolling. All right, guys, so far everything is amazing. We actually uh, drove like, I think, 30 miles right now and everything is good. We're about to stop at the rest area. Alright guys, there she is, an amazing machine, what a beautiful car, needs some love but we're halfway there guys, we're like pretty much very close to home now, so it's awesome, I'm super happy and excited for the owner, there he is, he's an amazing owner, this car is going to go to the one of the best hands ever, he's going to take great care of this machine. Well, guys it's a little noisy but we are in the shop we're gonna lift this car up check it out from underneath and everything so super exciting this baby's home all safe and sound guys Shoo! all right wait a little So looking at this car, it needs quite a bit of work. We looked through it. Oil pan gasket, oil pan itself, oil level sensor. So some of the steering component boots are bad, torn. Ball joint boots are torn. Upper control arm boots are torn. Stabilizer bar link. Uh, those are actually, those need to be replaced. Engine mounts need to be replaced. Control arms right here. The bushings are original. These tires are actually pretty bad. There's a bunch of cuts on them and the wheels are actually, you know, bent. That's why he was having a vibration. And the wheels are just bent. A bunch of them are. This oil pan for the transmission needs to be replaced. That's a safety issue right there. Rusted. Uh, this cable. So somebody also cut out the uh, catalytic converters and they also cut the O2 sensor wiring. So that's crazy. And then this insulation right here is falling down and it's resting against the flex disc. The flex disc is also bad, needs to be replaced. It's got cracking on it. Transmission mount probably needs to be done too, original. Yeah, bunch of stuff. And then this flex disc is bad. And then there's a bunch of stuff here that needs to be replaced, actually. And then the SLS suspension doesn't work because that linkage right there is broken from the SLS valve. The, the car is riding hard in the back, so these accumulators are probably bad and need to be replaced. There's a bunch of work. And then the subframe bushings too, they're bad. And look at, check out these tires. Look, look at the, how bad this is actually. And same thing with this one. It's pretty bad. Camber wear too. 